Barts and today I've got something to, to let you see. Um, this is Derek Bosch's latest puzzle, the Rhombic Maze Bar, or RMB for short. As you can see we have two different versions. We have a, a larger version. Um, this is entirely 3D printed from Shapeways. And then we have the smaller version which is a 3D printed frame and a number of acrylic plates that uh, Derek laser cut. So rather than trying to explain it all in words as I have done on the blog, I figured I'd show you how it actually works. It's a bit easier to show you rather than talk about it. So the idea is, you can see the plate here has a, a groove cut uh, to allow the plate to come off. It's the same with the, the larger version of one plate that is designed to come out. And the idea is you manipulate these plates in order to get this plate to come off. So as you can see here, the plate slides and then you can use the small pegs to slide the piece and so on. As you can see, when I move one of the pegs out, the inner plate comes out and actually prevents the other plate from moving back. So the idea is to continue moving uh, in such a way that eventually uh, you get to the point that you are able to remove this plate. Uh, this one is configured um, somewhere about 40 moves, I believe. Um, this is the way Derek gave me it. This one somewhere around about 300 odd. Um, I have solved both of them. Uh, this one took me about four months on and off of playing. Uh, with 300 moves, I have no idea whether I was going forwards or backwards at times. Um, but it is possible. Um, but a logical thinking will get you there. Uh, so not too difficult. Um, much like Kagan Schaefer's maze bar, these are reconfigurable just by taking the plates that we have and changing the rotation and uh, the relation to each other, you can make it simpler or more complex, which is a really nice thing about the puzzle. Uh, Derek plans to, to be able to send a booklet out which has around about 50 different puzzles with it. So to reconfigure it, uh, you grab yourself uh, an Allen key and uh, I'll actually work with a big one rather than a small one. Um, you take this, and they both work exactly the same way. Stick in your Allen key, and these screws, uh, they just unscrew. Uh, it's a threaded uh, bolt. The top plate can then be taken off, and you carry on the same way around the rest of the puzzle. Just unscrew these. They're not in uh, particularly tight, but they do thread into a bolt on the, the inner plate, uh, so they're pretty secure. So take that out. You can slide that plate out, and then from there, and I'll cheat. Um, you can remove the inner plates uh, and so on. So as you can see, uh, we get into the centre. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Reconfiguring it is pretty straightforward. Um, the final version will actually be slightly modified. That the frame will have letters etched on it, and these plates will have. Um, letters etched on them as well, making it much easier to figure out where to put things. So there we go, just put the pin back in, we'll screw it back into place, and that's it done. So as I say, Derek will have a, a booklet that will tell you how to reconfigure it. I'm not going to change the configuration just now, but that's the basic idea. So there you go, uh, the Rhombic Maze Bar from Derek Bosch. Um, these will be available this year, and uh, Derek is hard at work uh, getting these things made, so uh, look out for these pretty soon. Thanks for watching.